SBOM stands for Software Bill of Materials. An ingredients list of all the individual software components making up your application. So just like you have a nutrition label with all the facts and ingredients on the back of your soda can or chip bag, you can now have that for your software creation. Um, this has really become popular as of Executive Order 14028. Essentially what it is is a ingredient list or think of it like a um, label that enumerates every single component that exists within your application, including the licenses, the name, the version, author, supplier, manufacturer, and then the relationships as well. When companies are basically producing software, you need to record what are the different components that make up that software. This could be software libraries, open source libraries, custom uh, products. The idea is to have an uh, inventory of what are the ingredients that make up your software. So SBOMs have always been an important part when you're talking about software composition analysis using open source components. Just so that you know what is going into your application, what components you're using, what are the licenses, so you can assess the risk and look at the uh, licenses and compliance and everything. This is a detailed list of all the dependencies, all the libraries that an application depends on. Their licenses, how they were built, and in a host of other information that will be relevant to organizations so they can verify and ensure that the dependencies and libraries they are using within their own software are what they say they are, they are secure, and they can rely on them. So that you can monitor them for vulnerability issues, license issues, quality issues, and, and then you're making sure that your supply chain is basically, you have full visibility to what are the elements that make up your supply chain. You can proactively monitor them for any risk issues and, and take actions basically in a timely manner. This becomes really, really useful for any company that's trying to understand what type of risk are they actually consuming by taking on either forced or third-party applications.